Christina Guayo Matsukato, Research Associate, Instructor in Medicine. Vitamin D activation. Active vitamin D needs to be activated from either vitamin D3 or vitamin D2. Vitamin D3 can be synthesized in the skin from 7 dehydrocholesterol by the presence of UV light. However, currently vitamin D3 is also a supplement which is present in fortified milk or present in the liver of cod, halibut, and some eggs. Vitamin D2 instead can be obtained from a diet based on vegetables. In the liver, cholecalciferol is activated on the first step to 25 hydroxycholecalciferol. This circulates and in the kidney, the second step of the activation occurs where 125 dehydroxycholecalciferol is synthesized and this is the biologically active form of vitamin D. By activated vitamin D, has as an overall function to increase plasma calcium and promote bone mineralization. It does this through action upon three main target organs, the small intestine, kidneys, and bone. In small intestine, vitamin D will increase calcium and phosphate absorption. In the kidney, it will increase calcium and phosphate absorption. However, it is important to note that Parathyroid hormone increases only calcium absorption in the kidneys and it promotes phosphate excretion in this organ. This is a very important difference to bear in mind with vitamin D. In the bone, vitamin D has two effects, an indirect effect and a direct effect. In the bone, vitamin D indirectly will increase calcium availability through the actions on small intestine and kidney and this promotes mineralization. The direct effect of vitamin D upon the bone is calcium mobilization out of the bone by increasing osteoclast numbers. It is very important to bear in mind that the indirect effect of vitamin D will prevail upon bone. Therefore, it, vitamin D promotes bone mineralization.